Good afternoon and welcome to the Modesky Stadium in Reading. This is the under-15 Small Schools Cup Final between Gosford Hill School in green and black up against Howden School in red and white. Small Schools Cup is uh, for years where there are 65 or less pupils in the year. Here come Howden. And they give the ball away now. Here's Jutty. Jutty plays in Clark. Clark, lovely skills. There's a man for you on the right hand side here. He might have a pop from this distance. And he scored! He certainly had a pop. Piers Walton scores. And what a start for Gosford Hill. They've taken the lead. John Scales. Well, it's a brilliant touch here, but it really got a lot of work to do. And he shows great composure because he takes his time. He has the touch. He hasn't got any pace to get it out of the, his feet. But what he does well here is really take aim, strike, the classic, what every coach says, hit a cross. Right at the end of that run, and now here come Gosford. And there's the ball over the top. Here's Walton, he's through. He's played it square, it must be a goal. It must be a goal, and it is. Jonah Clark, the simple ball over the top, and Gosford Hill are 2-0 ahead. Only 15 minutes gone in this match, and what a dream start for the local boys. Well, watch Piers, Piers Walton here. With this ball that's played through, he lifts this up in the air, so he's got the bounce to either lift it over the keeper into goal or lift it over for his mate, Jonah Clark. Absolutely fabulous. I mean, the through ball in the first place, but just there where he lifts the ball up, gives him all the options. I think that is absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Where well, yeah. you just need the composure. A good touch on the ball, and that was a goal. But here's the ball through. Here's Walton. Walton's through on goal now. Oh, oh. great save from the keeper, but Clark puts it home. Goal number two for Jonah Clark. And with a minute to go in this first half, that may have put the seal on this final. But the other end, just 30 seconds ago, we saw Cameron Taylor. Here's the shot from Walton. This is a great save from the keeper, but unfortunately for him, in fact, it wasn't Clark, it was uh, Jamie Hudson. Jamie Hudson, wasn't it? Yeah. Who came in with goal number three. And, uh, and Gosford Hill off 3 0 ahead. And here, Gosford Hill lead 3 0. I mean, it's funny because you can't argue with a 3 0 scoreline in many no, ways. No. And yet, you sort of feel sorry for. Howden that they're not at least a goal closer Lovely to getting cross, back in this back game. Post challenge from Walton. Might even see a shot from distance here. The crowd are calling for it. Oh, it's straight through the defence. Oh, goal number four. Harley Firkin. It's game over. Gosford Hill take the fourth goal in this match. It's not even half time. And I think seriously. It's just been too easy going through that defence. Time and time again, you see the move breaks down and it's just a, there's nothing really special. It's just a straightforward pass, lovely running off the ball. Yeah. And uh, Harley Firkin. It was brilliant, he starts it off, little give and go. Lovely Joey Cowlishaw return pass. And that, I'm, a, oh, I'm afraid, could be curtains. Yeah, well. But great display from Gosford Hill, really excellent first half display from them. Maybe four flatters them a little bit, but they really have been in the ascendancy. But feel for Howden because they put great effort into the game. Big Ops looks to try and play in uh, Taylor here. Taylor's got a chance. Taylor scored. Played. It's 4 1. And Cameron Taylor, just as the match is starting to die a little bit. What do you think, John? Well, I, I mean, I <laughs> could it? Could they? Could, could? Well, they've got they've got decent players in this side. Yeah, I it's just don't think they're going to score four. I'm well, here's a to wonder a bit whether uh, that's sort of the classic I comment. I don't think so. I think that you know this Gosford this Hill school are, are too good to good finish here. Yeah. Three goals, great finish. It's exactly what he deserved. Good skills here from Birchall. Has uh, had a second lease of life up front. 
But now here's Taylor, who's been a danger man. Taylor's going to go himself. What a great touch from Taylor. He's shot a goal. He will score. Cameron Taylor, wow. a one-man show, has oh, well, got well. Howden right back into this match. And hold on here, John. Don't pack, get your coat yet. It's 4-2. Ah, sensational stuff. And thank goodness we've got a game on. Because they deserve it. Look at that for pace. He evades the tackle, stays on his feet. Brilliant drag back around the keeper. And then that is just the composure you need at the end. He's got a lot of confidence, this boy. Two goals to Cameron Taylor. And... I don't think we've seen her. Well, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's happening more and more. I'm, you know, certainly, I think in years gone by, there's a lot more shots coming in from these sort of angles. And oh, what a shot oh. from Clark! Oh, what a goal! Clark absolutely placed it into the top corner of the net. And Gosford High School lead by five goals to two. What a beautiful technique here from Clark. Look at that, right in the corner. <laughs> well, I stood and applauded that one. This is a lovely piece of skill. He looks around, he knows exactly what he wants to do. And, well, talk about perfect execution of a dead ball. He's done a great job, as have a few other of his teammates. I've got to say, oh, here's a lovely ball in. Clark's through, could be a hat-trick. He scored a hat-trick. <laughs> Signed, sealed and delivered. In every way, yeah. For Gosford Hill, <laughs> the hat trick for Jonah Clark. And they're straight down to their fans here in front of us. They've taken this title. And what technique here from Jonah Clark. Well, he may have started off a little bit rusty, but well, there's no doubt. Look at this for technique at the finish, John. Yeah, very good. <laughs> very good. That's a that's a boy who knows where the goal is, goal is isn't it? Yeah, He's look at everybody standing still. It's almost like it's a strange situation. Where really been impressed by Jutti and Yilla yeah. yeah. at the back for for Gosford Hill. They've uh, been so comfortable on the ball. There's a shot from distance. Oh no! What a goal! Oh. Alex Render oh. side foots that into the corner, top corner of the goal. Well, it's all going on here. It's uh, goals galore. It's 6 3. And there was me seeing the score of 6 5 earlier, saying, Oh, that must have been on penalties. Here we go. <laughs> what what do I know? Look at this for a finish. Side foot. That's a pass. Yeah. And the keeper just beaten. There's Clark in again. He's already got three to his name. Looking for a fourth. Good skills inside. Oh, Vietnam quick. The keeper manages to get a foot out there from nowhere. And the referee has blown the whistle. What a superb performance from Gosford Hill School. And uh, John, a tr truly deserved victory there. Oh, no, no doubt about it. Very accomplished side. Every player has played their part. Love to see that. Sprinkled with the stardust, obviously, of Jonah Clark and Piers Walton and one or two others, but as a team, outstanding. John Taylor, team manager for Halden. Uh, a tough day for the office for you today, yeah? It was, but I'm proud of the boys. Yeah, they did really well. They made a game of it. Um, half time, yeah, you'd think all the heads would go down a little bit. Second half, we give them a game, a little bit of, you know, bit of luck, a bit of rub of the green. You don't know. I'm really proud of the boys. Me and John Scales are saying in the commentary box, it was it was so unfortunate to be going in four 0 down because, in effect, you had two cracking chances at the end of the first half, and it was it was the other team who actually scored the two goals. It, you know, this is football, isn't it? That's right. Sometimes that's the way it goes, isn't it? You know, we hit the bar, didn't we, with the, with the header, and uh, if that had gone in, you know, who knows? You know, that would have been two one and. You know, we might have pushed on a little bit, and uh, you know, there we go. But credit to you—you you must be proud of the boys having come in from four 0 down to really battle on down, and, and those two goals from Cameron uh, really got you back into the game. 
Yeah, he did. That's why I asked at half time. I sort of just said to him, look, you know, come on, boys. You know, it's a tough game, but we're still in it. And let's just see what happens. Get one back. You never know. And and to be fair, you know, all season, you know, they've been like that. You know, they've never let me down. They've always fought for each other. And I'm really, really proud of the way they've performed today. No, I was looking through the past history of matches and you've had some cracking games just to get through here. One thing I've got to say, and I think we took, I spoke about it to you a minute ago, over 500 teams entered this competition. You've made the final two. That's surely going to be a message you're going to drive home to the boys tonight in the dressing room to say, you know, you can be proud of yourselves and look at yourselves in the mirror and say, we made the final two. That's right, we've, we've made the final two. Exactly what you've said. You know, and there's loads of kids around the school, around the country at school, you know, wish I was here today like my boys have been here and they'll remember the experience. Yeah, they're disappointed now. Tomorrow they'll wake up, look at look at the medals and think, yeah, you know, and maybe even look back in a few years' time when they've uh, left school and things like that and it'll be, you know, look back at it, fond memories. All right, John, well, thank you for your words and great to chat to you. What I'd like to say, big congratulations to uh, Gosford Hill. You know, worthy winners, played really, really well and um, it was a cracking game. You know, I really enjoyed it. I hope the crowd enjoyed it. Well, certainly, and I think we all enjoyed it upstairs. It was great, and what a great team they are, for sure. John, great, great words. Lovely to chat to you. Safe journey home. Thank you very much indeed. Cheers. Thank you. Peter, uh, what do you say after a day like tonight, today? What an incredible match. Uh, incredible match, and the boys play some fantastic football. They've been together now for four years, worked really hard together. Absolutely ecstatic for them, and, and really pleased for them. All their hard work's finally paid off. Me and John Scales were up in the commentary box. John Scales was absolutely purring over your forward line and saying, you know, what a player Clark is. And then you've got the other guy, oh, you are, they're all in here. <laughs> oh, we've got, we've got glasses on the floor. <laughs> OK, well, that's not the first time it's happened. It's certainly not going to be the last. Um, You've got to say, when you went in at 4-0 uh, at half-time and they scored two goals back, were you, were you worried? Because, you know, your guys looked to have gone off the boil a little bit, possibly got, got the slippers on. Yeah, very worried, very worried. The intensity dropped a little bit, but to be fair, uh, you know, it's a big pitch and the boys were tired and they were really tired. And fair play to Howden School, who really stuck at their guns. It would have been very easy for them to cave in there. So, huge amount of character from their players. And, and we can answer them for a bit. Uh, and we were very much holding on, very much holding on. Uh, the opposing coach just said, you know, your team, what a cracking team. He said, you know, players all the way through, from the back, guys who are comfortable on the ball. Like, you know, I don't know where you found the left back from, but what a sweet left foot he's got. You know, you've got play quality players throughout the team, haven't you? And that's the, that's the key. Yeah, I just want the students to be very comfortable on the ball. So whatever they do with school, that, that's secondary. As long as they can play football to a really good level later on, that, that's my aim. And I just want them to all be comfortable on the ball, use the ball properly and know how to play the game properly. There's no doubt they're very comfortable on the ball, that's for sure. Uh, Peter Green, go and have, enjoy your safe journey back. And you've not got too far to go back either, so even a bonus on that front. But well done, great performance today. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you.